Good morning. Happy Sunday. There's going to be two videos today. The first one is about claiming a safe space for yourself based on a post that I did earlier today. And the second video you do not want to miss. Years ago, uh, when my husband and I split up, I had to, he was an attorney, so I was very plugged into the legal community. So when we split up, I got a job as an administrator for a criminal law firm in the St. Louis area. It was a learning experience, and we're going to talk about accepting people for who they are, not who you want them to be or expect them to be. And it, you do not want to miss that video. You really don't. But for right now, we're talking about safe spaces. I'm going to read the post, and then we're going to talk about it. But it's so important to anyone who came from a toxic background. If you grew up in a toxic environment of abuse, screaming, yelling, violence. Maybe you had to leave home when you were young because you just couldn't deal with it anymore. Maybe you're living in that environment right now. Let's talk about it. So here's the post, and I have to read it off my computer screen. So it says, and I quote, my home will be a home with no loud anger, no explosive rage, no slamming doors or breaking glass, no name calling, shaming or blackmail. My home will be gentle. It will be warm. It will keep my loved ones safe. No fear, no hurt, no worries. I may come from a broken, broken and twisted place, but I will build something whole and safe. I'll sing in the shower again, cook with a smile and dance in the rooms. I will heal. When you read that, that's your chance to go from victim to survivor because it's a mindset. You can still be stuck in that toxic environment and have the mindset of a survivor to get yourself out of it. So when you, this is posted on, I have two Facebook pages, one personal and one professional. It's on Instagram and it's on LinkedIn. It's easy to find. When you read this, when you hear this, I want you to claim sanctuary for yourself, for your home, for your kids. The word sanctuary, you hear it and you think of a church, which is appropriate, but there's a second meaning, protection and safety. When you claim sanctuary, you are claiming protection and safety. I want you to claim sanctuary for your home, for your room, for yourself. Claim it. Name it and claim it, sweetie. It's up to you to have the mindset of a survivor now. It's tough. It is a very, very tough road to go from victim to survivor. Been there, done that. I was in a horrible, violent situation for a few years. It's not easy. And it's easy to get sucked back in because we're used to living in a cycle of abuse. We know living in it they're going to explode. Bad things, horrible things are going to happen. And then it will calm down. Kind of a honeymoon period. And then it will repeat. And then it will calm down. But you know the cycle. So that cycle becomes your comfort zone. It doesn't have to be your comfort zone. Sweetheart, that is not a comfort zone. That's called hell. Get your ass, get your kids' asses out of that. Get your pets out of that. You deserve better. You deserve sanctuary. You deserve safety and peace and happiness. So just think about it. There are a lot of agencies available to help you get out and stay out. Because leaving can be dangerous. Not going to lie. We both know that. We both know the threats that you might hear. The th and they may follow through with some of that. And I know a restraining order an order of protection is an option, and I promote that. I want you to do that because you need the law on your side. I'm not saying that a piece of paper is going to stop a bullet or a knife blade, but you need the law on your side. You need that. So when you leave a violent situation, go to the police, please, and you know do what they tell you to do. Fill out the paperwork. You need that for future use. You do. So do it. Be careful who you share information with because when you leave, the abuser is not stupid. 
they're going to call everybody you know. They're going to show up where you work. They're going to show up where the kids go to school. I just want to see them. I just want to talk to them. There's a restraining order that says no. Make sure the school has a copy of the restraining order so they can say, I'm sorry, no. It's not going to happen. If the person starts getting loud and out of hand, they should call the police. If they come to where you work and they're getting loud and obnoxious, they should call the police. You have the restraining order. That's when they can get locked up. But be careful who you share information with. Don't tell everybody your new address. Don't tell everybody who you're hanging out with now. Keep it to yourself. Keep yourself safe. Until everything is resolved, keep yourself safe. Keep your, your kids safe. Keep your pets safe. But you deserve peace. You deserve sanctuary. Claim it. And if you're stuck in it right now, claim it for where you are. That at least one room is your sanctuary. You deserve to sleep in peace without fear of violence, screaming, yelling, rage, danger. You deserve that. Your kids deserve that. Your pets deserve that. No one deserves to live in fear. So let's claim sanctuary because, honey, you're worthy.